Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of area and perimeter. This is standard 5.4H in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 16 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have the combined perimeter, that's going to be very important, of this rectangle and the triangle. The combined perimeter is 63 inches. We have a few dimensions here on the rectangle, nothing on the triangle. And we need to find the perimeter, just the perimeter, not a side length, of the inches, of, in inches of the triangle here. So really what we're looking at is what is that right there. Not the inside, but the three side lengths put together. So let's just see if we can put this into an equation here. So we're going to say the perimeter, I'm going to say P, I'm going to put a little R right there. So P sub R, that means the perimeter of the rectangle, plus P sub T, so that's P, perimeter of the triangle, Add those two together, they tell us that's 63 inches. So that's what we have. Add the two perimeters, we get 63 inches. I've got no clue on the triangle, which is what we're looking for, right? We're looking for the perimeter in inches of the triangle. So let's see if we can figure this out first, the perimeter of the rectangle. So we know the perimeter of a rectangle. We have to put that little R again, because now we've got two different perimeters we're dealing with in this problem, is double the length plus double the width. And we've got that here. So we've got our length, we've got our width, and so we can just go ahead and figure out what that perimeter is. So we're going to double the length, so 2 times 11. You notice we're using the parentheses here. In fifth grade, we really try to move away from the x or the dot for multiplication. When we see a number next to a parenthesis or a letter next to a parenthesis, that means multiply. It's just less conf confusing. And then we're going to add double the width, 2 times 7, which is just the same as, you know, taking your 7 inches from the top, putting it at the bottom, your 11 inches from the side, putting it to the other side, and then adding all four sides. You can either add all four sides or you can double each side that's different and then add those two products. So using our order of operations, let's go ahead and take care of our first multiplication. 2 times 11, that's going to get you 22. And we'll rewrite this. We've got two operations left. We have an addition, we have a multiplication. In the order of operations, multiplication comes first. So it's 22 plus, and then 2 times 7 is 14. So now we've only got one operation left. So this perimeter here is going to be 22 plus 14. That is 36. Put our inches back. So we've got 36 inches. All the way around there. So now we can put this in here. So we've got 36 inches plus whatever this perimeter of the triangle is equals 63 inches. And so what's going to help us there is if we're looking at this equation, in order to keep it balanced, what we can do is we can look at our fact families. So when we're looking at addition, right, we know we've got two different fact families here. We've got the one we just did. We can use the commutative property to switch uh, the two add-ins, that doesn't really help us. But remember, when we're dealing with fact families, we also have two different subtraction ones. So we've got 63 inches minus, and then you have one of the add-ins, p sub t equals 36. Doesn't really help us. But look at this one right here, 63 inches minus 36 inches. There we go. That fact family number sentence helps us. All we got to do is subtract 63 minus 36, subtract that, that's going to be 5, regroup, that's 7, 27 inches, your answer is F. 